Yeah. Top of the AM, thoughts of the boss coming at you. It's that 515 Chicago time right now, man. I come on because, you know, I've been wanting to do this video for a couple days now. Um, I think it's Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? I probably want to do this video since Saturday, Friday. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about narcissists. The, the word narcissist, you know what I'm saying? Um, the next couple videos, or, you know, sprinkled in between on some videos, I'm going to give you some short videos of words, you know what I'm saying? Give you powerful words, give you root meanings, give you definitions, give you my take on them and how they're being used in society, you know? So basically this morning when I'm waking up and I'm going through my, my uh, you know, looking for the jazz music, you know, I just throw on a little jazz for the background, soft playing, if I can't play my own music. <laughs> you feel me? So, you know, I don't know why this whole no jumper argument keeps coming up. You know what I'm saying? Between, uh, you know, Lil Kelpie, Almighty, Sharp, Sinful to Peace, Saint the Center. You know what I'm saying? You've all thrown yourselves into this little bubble where they're all basically, you know, I don't know what they doing, but y'all finna cancel each other out because y'all all got flaws and y'all all chatter and talking too much and all the flaws gonna get broken out and, 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 and brought to the forefront. You know, like Sharp, you know, word in the streets is the pot and the Mary. You know what I'm saying? Which, like I say, ain't no thing about that, but you know, that's a little frowned upon. I mean, I guess it could work, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Then the boy said, you know, like I said before, one of the most articulate individuals that you probably ever gonna hear. But that dark side, homie, you like them little girls. If it's grass on the field, sin playing ball, man, and we don't get down with that, not at all. That negates everything you say. Everything. You ain't smart enough for the discernment. Almighty, bro, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I was watching, I was watching Almighty with, with a female, and she say he just looks like a tool. You know what I'm saying? And she wasn't even a female of the game like that. You understand? And she said he just looks like a tool, which means she didn't even see no pimping in this nigga. Almighty, boy, you better change your name before you come to the shot. You can't be cross country. You can't be part of the church. As sharp, you can't be part of the church without coming to the shot. And I ain't part of the church. <laughs> I got my own congregation. But I respect the church because shit, who don't, nigga? That's Don Juan. Come on now. <laughs> it, it, that's, that's like, <coughs> Fillmore Slim is definitely Jordan. Don Juan is Kobe. Easy. Easy. Don Juan is Kobe. Easy. Now, I'm going to tell you the thing right now. Is everybody racing to be LeBron in the pimp game? That's what they racing to be is LeBron. The closest thing to Devon. <laughs> and then you got to come to your thoughts of your boss for that, baby. So that right there would lead us right into today's topic, narcissist. Let's go with the definition of narcissist. A person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves. Now, see, for me, this makes it hard because in business and in life, in order to be successful, one must adapt the ability to understand how to sell themselves and to present themselves, you know, and, and this is the game translates all across. It's not just for the game that we play, but also work. You have to, your, 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 your resume is, is an excessive interest. You're going to put the best possible wording on your resume to make it seem like you were, you know, a little 
more important than what you really were. See, I don't want to use other words that might knock your psyche down, but you're going to make it seem like you was a little more important than what you really was at your job. That's very close to narcissism. Your more successful people have to have that thought of themselves. You have to view yourself as being great. If you can't view yourself as being great, who else will? That is a supreme confidence. For example, Jesus. One of our favorite characters to discuss and talk about all across the board. He could very well be considered narcissist. Let's take the scene where he goes into the church and he's flipping over tables because the churches are monetizing the word. Who are you? Who are you to believe that you can raise the dead? Who are you to believe that you can walk on water, turn water to wine red? Who are you to believe these things? That's narcissistic attitude. And when someone says that you can't do it, you get mad. Jesus was not a, oh, how you doing, man? What's going on? He wasn't that kind of guy. His voice was like rumbling waters. Has anyone ever been to the sea on a cruise? Have you even been to Lake Michigan, the Great Lakes? Have you heard those waters? Hey, man, them motherfuckers is deep. Them waters, you don't even hear them waters. You feel them waters in your soul. Them motherfucking waters is loud. Like when they be hearing them orcan dolphins and whales screaming, they try to tell y'all they mermaids in the sea. That could be true. But that shit is loud. So Jesus' voice was loud. It was booming. He wasn't holding back. He was more likely to cuss a motherfucker out, if you ask me. Today's days is not no different than yesterday's. Jesus would be someone like Kyrie, like Kanye, where your own people gonna be the ones to kill you and hang you. You see, it don't take too much to figure it all out. You know, and see, part of, you know, I am who I am and I am raised the way I was and I don't wanna be nothing else because I, have a piece of the clock that I have to beat in order so that we can tell time on earth. I'm gonna play my role. You know? Yeah. I ain't nothing but a pimp, nigga. Stephen A. Pimp. <laughs> <coughs> I can't believe that nigga said that shit. But at the same time, you got a kid, Saint and Center, who I got mad respect for him after watching the video with Flacco. And, and to be honest with you, I got mad more respect for Flacco too. Shout out to Flacco right now. See, we, we, I'm, I'm, a, I'm then that's where, you know, I, I, I draw the line and I could see some correlations between me and saying, you know, I flame my goddamn self and I flame your ass and I will also give props when props is due. Flacco has a great resume of people he's been bringing on for interviews since the Spot Him Got Him interview and he got spit on. He's brought some very outstanding brothers to the show and interviewed them. I thought Sharp would have been more qualified for the Saint in the Center because when I see Saint in Center, it's a I, I get a different version of him. You know what I'm saying? After the interview with No Jumper. I almost placed him with the Andrew Tate. You know what I'm saying? In the Andrew Tate version because you ain't no pimp. We can get that straight right now, nigga. You ain't no pimp. You ain't never been no pimp. Now, had circumstances been a little different, like maybe had that lady not have saved you as a child, maybe you would have become one. But because you got saved and got a chance to go to a good school and I ain't never hating on that fat mo. and to be honest with you when I look back I wish I'd have followed the same path because I did go to college for basketball but when that was over that was over but the guys that I went to college with 
One is very successful architectural and the other is a very successful banker. They both been traveling the world the last 10 years, just like Saint and Center. I haven't been traveling the world the last 10 years. I am coast to coast, but coast to coast and traveling the world is different. See, coast to coast in America, I just need a couple hundred. I could hop in a car and be coast to coast in a couple hours. You see what I'm saying? So, and by me doing that, like at any time I could get 500, go to Vegas and come back with 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 in a weekend. You know what I'm saying? I can do that anytime. But when you hear people, you know, and they, they, they got net worths of multi-millions, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, man. That ain't really coming from no pimping, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you're going to have two, three, four, five women around you because it's the money. And, you know what I'm saying, just a little bit of charismatics, young black brother. You know what I'm saying? No homo, but, yeah, ain't no ugly nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You dressing decent. So I give shots and props to whatever it is, but nah, he ain't the pimp. You know what I'm saying? And so when I first seen the interview, because of what he was claiming, I thought Sharp should have got it. But watching the interview in totality like I did, nah, Flacco was a good one because there's more to Saint Center. He ain't no pimp, man. He's a very intelligent brother. And we need to be paying attention to him. You know what I'm saying? Because He's, he's got he's got some nice words and you might confuse him for narcissism but he put his work in he's got his, his resume is it and when you look at somebody that has the resume and it's it and it's proven you can't help but to have that feeling inside you you know like I don't I don't have to sit here and fabricate my resume my resume is what it is that's why when jobs there's a section at the end of it it's called references i always got references anytime you want to verify and certify what i'm saying i got references if we talking about what i'm really talking about and you want to call up some chicks or something i got references They'll tell you what I'm telling you. I ain't lying. I ain't sugarcoating my side just to make me look like the good guy. I'm not. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? So, me personally, I may get called narcissist too. But I don't have an over infatuated sense of myself. I am who I am. That's what it is. You understand what I'm saying? And so, like, I've been called narcissist before. And so it leads me to study what the word means. So if you want to go further into the studies, what you can do is break down the root words and meanings. You know what I'm saying? So it's three syllables, nar, sis, sis. They all have root meanings. So... Check this out. You take in nar. Root word meaning of nar. The meaning of nar. Narrow. Near, that's what nar means, narrow, near. Assist, abbreviation, Commonwealth of Independent States on this side near this side you see so i ain't gonna go too deep in that with y'all but you see how i start breaking down things 
<coughs> and now we can start getting the root words and meanings. And then if you want to take that further, you can jump that off into numerology and break down the words into numbers. And then you can get the frequencies. And so, especially for like black men, using that word narcissist is, is, is like kryptonite. Because we have to have a great feeling about ourselves. You can't imagine being told for generations upon generations that you're nothing, you're a slave. This is what you was born as. This is what you'll always be. Just to one day find out that there's buildings and structures from thousands and thousands of years ago with paintings on the wall and vibrant colors where they've got people of all colors, all walks of races on earth. The hair, they've got it down packed on the walls. The same society we credit with mathematics, we credit with science, we credit with astrology, we credit with, with medics, you know, uh, doctoral stuff. You know, uh, science is everything we credit this society for, but we think that they're dumb enough to paint the people wrong on the walls. Mm -mm. Those people's on the walls were my color. They got they got a statue they dug up that actually looks like me. They got pictures on the wall that looks like Obama. You understand me? So when you see things like that, it starts to change the mind. And that's what we call the natural phenomenon. You see something that's going to alter the mind, something that shows and proves something that you can touch and feel that's real, that shows you that you had crowns over your head. You had jewels on your body. When they picked them up out of the graves, they had jewels on their body. When they picked them out of the graves, buried for thousands of years. And now all of a sudden money's backed by gold. Wow. Wow. And then as they find more, money's not backed by gold. Wow, wow. Because the more gold that you found, especially over in, in, in uh, the Grand Canyon, the more gold that's found brings the value down. See, when it, it's, it's, a simple, it's a simple supply and demand. Anybody with a Berkeley degree could tell you that. I ain't got no degree. I got an audio engineering certificate. <coughs> and that's it. <laughs> and the reason I got that is because I started rapping. I was going to the studio. I felt like the nigga I was paying to do my mixes uh, wasn't doing them right. And so I wanted to learn how to do them right. Because at the very least, you know what I'm saying? I, when I go to the studio, I know when you plan me and I can take over and do it myself. And it just got to, you know, I was doing it myself. So when y'all hear them songs that I've been playing, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all probably thought we let the, I would let the hat out the bag, you know what I'm saying? Them songs is old, man. I ain't been in the booth in about six years. Easy, tops. Easy, six years, easy. So, you know what I'm saying? And I got skills. I'm dope. And that's not having the over it. That's not narcissist. That's other people have told me that before. That's me performing and getting off stage and people pulling me to the side like, yo, you got to keep going. You got to keep going. But you want me to tell you what keeps me from my, from the gift? You know what I'm saying? It is is this pimping. That's what keep me from the gift, man. Because I'm going to keep it 100 with you, man. Motherfuckers claiming to keep this pimping. Man, really, you 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 damn near you damn near almost chasing them women like that, man. I ain't got time, nigga. It's a bigger bag out there than what's in them purses. Trust me, it's a bigger bag. Like, they money cool. They money cool. But when you got this type of ism that you didn't really, really had, 
And then you could take that and transfer it over and start moving and grooving with the Andrew Tates and the Saint Sinners is moving. You know what I'm saying? On the business level. Man, them bitches gonna always be there, man. They gonna always be there, but the mind frame is something that we gotta change. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. They gonna always be there. Don't worry about that. But that bag ain't gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna always be able to move like you want to. You ain't gonna always be able to dunk a basketball. You ain't gonna always be able to do a backflip. You ain't gonna always be that great boxer. Floyd had to retire. You understand? Why would you blame him? He's 50 and 0. He's made an incredible amount of money. He's. Why would you want to get hit in the head? Canelo. Pacquiao. Them motherfuckers hit hard, bruh. And he beat them. What else does he have to prove? Y'all want, want a motherfucker to do this shit until he brain dead, huh? But that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. You know? So, I'm going to cut it there because I got my baby calling. You know, early in the morning. Like I told you, this was early. I think this was a great message, though. You know, thoughts from a boss back at you at all costs, baby.